Hey, it's Steve here at Wild for Salmon. I just stopped in at Route 11 to grab a salmon burger to fulfill my wild seafood habit and fishing in February. So if you're uh, looking for some amazing wild sockeye burgers done right, stop in at Route 11 and get yourself some. So it's the final week of fishing in February. We've made it through and We've got a few more days to go. So in addition to checking out today's uh, summary of the week, um, I wanted to let you know that if you've been following along on our journey, you're gonna wanna tune in to next week's podcast episode here on our YouTube channel or wherever you find your podcasts. We're going to be doing a full episode wrap up with everyone who participated on the team in fishing in February. And we're going to do a full summary of what they experienced in the week. So it's sure to be a very fun and informative um, avenue to wrap up um, the month. And hopefully we'll talk a little bit more about how next February you at home can join with us in the challenge and take it to the next level and make it uh, a lot of fun to incorporate um, those of you in the wild for salmon and pride of Bristol Bay communities to participate in fishing in February as well. So enjoy this week's episode. Hey guys, it's lunchtime and I actually remembered to record something. I've realized it's been a lot more difficult to remember recording my lunches and dinners than it has been actually eating seafood. So here's my lunch. I just have some crackers and avocado with some fresh salmon salad. Um, last night after dinner, I threw some portions in the oven once it was actually already hot um, at 425 for eight minutes. And I just put salt and pepper on those. And then once they were cooled, I just flaked them up and mixed it with some mayonnaise and fresh dill. Um, it's just that simple. My little one has been loving salmon salad recently. She just licks it right off the cracker and throws the cracker away. So I think that will be on the menu more often now. Hi friends. I hope your seafood meals are coming along nicely. I am excited to say the Kyrians have had at least 10 meals of seafood course for the last week. Uh, my two favorites happen to be the smoked salmon quiche and the uh, lobster fettuccine. And um, I'm going to try to up my game for the last five days of the challenge and see if we can squeeze two seafood meals in each day for the rest of the week. Um, I'm really excited about the opportunity to try new recipes and uh, this particular challenge got me motivated to do that. So um, I've really been enjoying the new, the new options and uh, trying to find different ways to serve all the different kinds of whitefish and, and salmon alike. So um, thanks for joining us on this seafood challenge and uh, good luck the last few days. Not so fancy salmon dinner. Some rice pilaf, salmon with rubber love, and some mushy peas. Doesn't always have to be fancy to be healthy or tasty. Dinner for one tonight. My favorite dish for the week has been fried oysters in cornmeal. It's a new dish, never had that before, and uh, it's pretty easy to make, so you should give it a try. Outside of that, we've had wild seafood at least 10 times in the last seven days. And Jen says she's gonna up the game and we're gonna eat even more in the last week. So, super excited, gonna finish strong, body's feeling good. So this is our final week of fishing in February. And so being that it's the last week, started uh, really seeing the end in sight to be able to have red meat again. So tonight for dinner, I'm going to do a Western style salmon burger uh, to kind of get a little bit of barbecue flavor uh, in my week. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. So for the ingredients, I have uh, wild for salmon, spicy salmon burgers. I've got G Hughes sugar-free uh, barbecue sauce, which if you've never had, 
they make a, all kinds of line of uh, sugar-free uh, sauces. I've got some onions I'm gonna grill, some blue cheese uh, from the top of the burger. Um, see how this turns out. Here we go. Western style salmon burger. Happy Friday from a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. I just finished up work. There's a really loud train going by. I hope you can hear me. Um, Christian and I are planning to head to a friend's house tonight to smoke some wild coho he caught last fall. And we are really excited. We're gonna try to make some meals from that next week. Uh, but in the meantime, we're heading to the store and we're gonna catch some beers so we can enjoy sunset before we head over to our friend's house. Mission accomplished. Christian, when did you catch this? Mm, October, December. October or December of 2021? Yes. And you preserved it with your food saver, right? Yes. Both of them. So, Cubby, what's this step? We are starting the brine. So, we're going to just lay the fish out and sprinkle salt on it and let it sit for three hours. She's so helpful. You like these hanging trusses? <laughs> the cantilever? Wow! You guys are such engineers. I'm gonna make Stonehenge. The first one's not working. <laughs> these are cut straight. <laughs> Amazing. It's so, soaked in so much. These have been brining for how many hours? Three, three hours. hours. Three hours. Oh, we just gotta do one more of those, Max. Okay, gently slosh. Just swing it from the hands. So we flipped them to give them a real good soak, and this is where they're going to dry with a nice fan behind it. Yeah, she's still working. 